When you leave for your morning commute, it can be 40 degrees with a chill breeze, but then when you try to go and ride back home during your evening commute, it could be like 80 degrees and muggy. The weather changes a lot throughout the day in the fall, which can make it tough to stay comfortable on your bike. But if you keep your outfits simple and versatile, you can be comfortable on your bike regardless of the crazy weather swings. This is the minimalist guide to dressing for fall cycling. What's up? I'm Zach Gallardo. Life is short, but don't make it shorter, so be sure to ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous. And subscribe for more cycling and fixed gear videos, just like this one every Thursday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific. Also, I'm going to recommend some specific articles of clothing that might help you, so feel free to check those out at the link in the description at any point during this video. When I'm dressing for fall and I'm trying to be comfortable on my bike throughout the entire day, I have a couple of goals in mind, and one of those goals is only to dress in the essentials that I'll need for the entire day. Overdressing can get in the way of your riding just as much as underdressing can. Overdressing can lead to overheating and sweating, which means having to pull over to take off your layers and carrying around some extra weight and bulk throughout your day. The first instinct that a lot of people have for dressing for fall cycling is to layer up to be warm and toasty. But more often than not, people overpack and overdress and all that extra stuff ends up becoming a burden. In my experience, I just pack the absolute minimum for the day. That gives me lighter pockets and a lighter bag and overall it's just more pleasant. With that said, you don't really know how much clothing is enough until you know how much is too little. So experiment to see what amount of clothes works for you and your fall riding. Start with the bare essentials that you think you'll need for the day, and then after you find out that whether you need that heavy jacket or not, then add on those layers. You might be surprised by the amount of stuff that you don't need. And because I like to only have the bare essentials for my fall riding, I like for my articles of clothing to be really versatile. Number one, a versatile piece of clothing for me needs to look good enough. It needs to look presentable. I personally don't like changing entire outfits once I get to my destination. And if I can, I try to wear the same clothes that I ride in during the day. And secondly, those articles of clothing have to keep me comfortable enough in terms of temperature and moisture. If you already have clothes that you wear in the fall, you already have the clothes that you'll need for fall cycling. You don't need to go out and buy an entirely new wardrobe of cycling specific gear. The most important thing to have is the desire to ride no matter what the weather conditions. And really, it's that simple. Check the weather and dress accordingly. There's no single best way to dress for fall cycling, so experiment to see what works out best for you. To help you determine that, here are some questions to keep in mind. Number one, is the source of your discomfort on your bike from your own body or is it coming from the elements? Number two, are you trying to stay cool or are you trying to keep warm? Or number three, are you trying to do both at different times during your ride? And fourth, are you trying to stay dry from your own sweat or trying to stay dry from the rain? Your answers to these questions will determine how you should best dress for your fall cycling. In fall in most places, the temperature can range pretty widely from low 40s to 80s. So here is generally how I like to dress at different temperatures during the fall. If it's early morning and around 40 degrees, a medium jacket with my regular base layer, usually a t-shirt, and pants does the job. In colder weathers, warmer base layers work really well. I'm currently wearing this Uniqlo Heat Tech long sleeve shirt, and it keeps me drier and warmer than a regular cotton t-shirt. When it's around 40 degrees, a light set of gloves are optional, but I find that they're not entirely necessary because the temperature does warm up pretty quickly in the fall. If it's around 50 to 60 degrees, I'll throw on a light jacket like this one on top of my base layer, i.e. t-shirt and pants. And if it's in the higher 50s to lower 60s, I might not even wear a jacket during my ride. My rule of thumb is to be a little bit cold at the start of your ride because you'll warm up within the first 10 minutes. It's a bit counterintuitive to dress to be a little bit cold, but whenever I go out on a ride and I'm warm when I leave, I end up just taking off layers. Once the temperature gets to the mid 60s to 70s, I'll just completely ditch the jacket and just wear a t-shirt and pants. And anything beyond that, you could just wear pants or shorts, and your base layer of choice. So that's how I'll dress to be comfortable with the temperature, but we also need to be comfortable with the moisture, whether that's from our own bodies or from the elements. Rain is sort of the monkey wrench when it comes to dressing for fall cycling. You can increase the water resistance, but that most likely will decrease the breathability of your jacket 
which makes you sweatier. But at the same time, you can decrease the water resistance of your jacket, which will probably increase the breathability and make you less sweaty, but you'll be more exposed to rain. Most likely, you're going to get wet. You just need to choose whether you want it to be from the rain or from your own bodily functions. Gear and clothing can help mitigate it to some extent, but for the most part, it's just the fact of riding a bike and you're just going to have to deal with it. But here are some general guidelines for dressing for the rain. It's a good idea to have a cycling cap under your helmet if your helmet doesn't already have a visor. This will keep the rain out of your eyes and off of your glasses if you have them, which will increase how much you can see. Heavy rain can be tough to dress to. You might want to bring a heavier, more water resistant jacket, but that will most likely be a much warmer jacket and make you sweat more. Along with that, waterproof pants are a good idea, but at the same time, you might sweat more. With heavy rain, it's a good idea to bring a small towel with you so you can dry off. And I also recommend getting overshoes so your shoes don't get soaking wet and an extra pair of socks. You might even just want to gear up for a rain ride and then just change into an entirely different set of clothes once you get to your destination. For light rain, I recommend just wearing a light windbreaker and water resistant jacket on top of your base layer. You'll still get a little bit wet from the rain, but you'll mostly stay cool because of the breathability. My fall riding outfits are pretty simple because fall here in California is mild. Usually the temperature is between 60 to 80 degrees, so my challenge is usually trying to keep cool and to have enough ventilation. For my base layer, I usually just wear a cotton t-shirt, or a linen button-up shirt. My pants of choice are jeans or wool pants. And if for some reason it's colder, I'll wear a light outer layer. And to round off my fall cycling outfit, I'll just wear dress socks because I like wearing dress socks with my cycling shoes. What are your tips for dressing to be comfortable while riding your bike in the fall? Let me know in the comments. And Fixie Famous shoutouts to Michael Rector, Joey Rapallo, Alistair McCullum, Matt Ford, OZ Verto, Connor Kerrigan, Merrick Dravecki, Robert Terpsha, Blue Tick Hound, Evil Erty, Mark Vandeventer, and Jazeel for supporting the channel through Patreon. And if you haven't ridden your bike yet, stop watching me right now. Dress for your fall weather and ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.